Deadweight testers are mainly used to test the accuracy of a pressure gauge or pressure transducer. The calibration may require pressures as low as 0.01 bar with pneumatic deadweight testers to over 2,600 bars with hydraulic deadweight testers. This video explains the key features, setup and operation of a Budenberg hydraulic deadweight tester and dual range piston cylinder unit. The main components include mass set weights to match pressure required, valves to control the pressure, reservoir to contain the liquid, a gauge to be tested, piston cylinder unit to achieve optimal accuracy and floating action, screw press to generate pressure in the circuit, leveling feet to achieve a level piston cylinder. Within the casing of a deadweight tester is the hydraulic circuit that transfers the liquid. First, fit the piston cylinder unit to the left-hand connection. Check the level of the tester with the spirit level on the top face of the piston cylinder unit. Adjust the four corner feet to level the piston cylinder unit. Remove the filler plug from the reservoir and leave out while in use. Make sure that valve A and B are open and rotate the screw press wheel clockwise. Fill the reservoir with the appropriate mineral oil. Rotate the screw press fully anti-clockwise. This draws the oil into the system. Then slowly rotate the screw press clockwise to force any trapped air in the system out through the reservoir. Ensure that the oil level is monitored via the right-hand gauge stand to avoid the oil overflowing. Fit the applicable gauge or instrument to be tested to the right-hand gauge stand. You first need to load the piston cylinder unit with the weights that equal the desired pressure to be tested for the pressure gauge. For pressures of up to 140 bar or 2000 psi, valve B needs to be closed and valve A needs to be left open. The test gauge can now be calibrated by rotating the screw press clockwise. This will generate pressure up to approximately 140 bar or 2000 psi as the handle is wound in. When the handle becomes stiff to rotate, this will indicate that the pressure limit for this range has been reached. For pressures above 140 bar or 2000 psi, the same procedure needs to be followed for pressures below 140 bar or 2000 psi where valve B needs to be closed and valve A needs to be open. Wind the screw press clockwise until the handle becomes too stiff to operate. At this point, valve A needs to be closed and valve B needs to be opened. Continue to turn the screw press clockwise until the desired pressure is reached. When the approximate pressure is obtained during calibration, the weight should be rotated clockwise by hand. The main benefit of a dual-range piston cylinder unit is rather than using one unit and weights for testing low pressure and separate unit and weights to test for high pressure, you can now use just one piston unit for the calibration of both high and low pressure, saving you both time and money. The key components of a dual-range piston cylinder unit are piston head, auxiliary weight, high pressure band, low pressure band, auxiliary piston, vent, high pressure piston, low pressure piston. The piston head which carries the calibration weights is operated by two pistons, a low pressure piston shown as blue and a high pressure piston shown as red. As the supply pressure is increased, the low pressure piston is operated until the flange on the end of the low pressure piston abuts the end of the low pressure cylinder. This is now in equilibrium between the force pushing down from the mass set weights and the supply pressure from below. The pressure is now defined as pressure equals force over an area where the area is the cross-sectional area of the low pressure piston and the high pressure piston. 
As the pressure continues to increase, the high-pressure piston operates through the middle of the low-pressure piston, which is now acting as the high-pressure cylinder. Indication of the range in which the piston is operating and that the piston head is floating is given by the position of the piston head. This can be seen against the two color bands on the cylinder. At this point, the high-pressure equilibrium is reached. Unique advantages of using a Budenberg deadweight tester Primary standard calibration accuracy is of actual reading, not full scale. Budenberg deadweight testers are widely acknowledged for accuracy, reliability, robustness, and longevity. Dual-range piston cylinder units available, which allow calibration over a wider pressure range. World-class technical support and training to a certified standard. A wide range of deadweight tester accessories are available, both cost-effective and time-saving. For further information on deadweight testers, go to budenberg.co.uk.